Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing amazing. How are you, Arrow? Oh, I love that word amazing. The only people that use that word are those that live it. Come on now. (laughs) Wow, what a movie. This is about heroes that trip, stumble, but get back up. And they're showing the rest of the world that they too can do it. Home run hero, uh, a World Series hero. Willie hit back-to-back home runs in two games in the 1980 World Series. And a few years later was serving a 24-year sentence for selling crack cocaine to an undercover police officer. Let's talk about that area right there because it, we're, we're talking about the 1980s, Los Angeles, and there's been so much written about that place in history that there was a total setup. Do you cover any of that at all? Well, uh, as far as the setup, no, we didn't We didn't cover the setup um, or, or, and we didn't go too far into prison reform. Right. Um, because... Willie's life really is about accountability. Mm -hmm. Willie accepted the fact that he was a drug user and that he did used to, you know, cook uh, crack cocaine and and snort cocaine and party and live a life that really didn't take responsibility for the, for the talents and the gifts that he was awarded. Um, So, I think I, I think it's a great it's a great lesson with this movie and with Willie's story speaking from his own you know from his point of view that going to prison for him saved his life it was the best thing that could have ever happened to him and he only wanted to come back to his community come back to society come back to his family and make right what he had made wrong it's so touching and so so heartfelt in the area when he does return to the streets and 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 he's now looked upon as being that ex-con. This right here spoke to me because it, it, this is more than just about baseball. This is about everyday people in their own lives saying, "Hey, look, I can I can get back on my feet again." Yeah, I mean, this is a this is a true second chance story and I think that we don't have a, enough of these um in the current in, in the you know in the current zeitgeist when it comes to entertainment because it, it's really a reflection of the ebbs and flows of of how our actual lives go people make mistakes people people are felons in our in our mm-hmm. society people are you know the recidivism of going back to prison is high for some but there are some people that learn from their mistakes they 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 are they go to prison and they come back um, learning their lesson and they are valuable to our community. They're valuable to society. And more importantly, they are valuable to their family that they left. And, and to restore that relationship with their family is, 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 you know, that I think that's what life is really about. And it doesn't matter if you're a big home run, you know, big Hollywood person or a big sports figure. Um, The things that matter are the things that matter. And that's what mattered to Willie when he got home. And he didn't realize that before. One of the things that that Willie really did is he he invested in a vision that he felt inside of his heart. And And the one thing that he did that a lot of people don't, he found activation. And it was in that activation that he was given that opportunity. That's correct. And along with that, you know, it didn't ha- it didn't hurt that he had the nepotism of good friends mm-hmm. you know people like george brett oh yeah and um they help you know help him find the goodwill uh of going of being brought back into the fold in mlb and with the kansas city royals um organization so you know it also helps that willie still was in a privileged position even returning from prison because he had friends in high places that all he had to do was stick to his word of being responsible and accountable for the things that he had done and for getting his life straight and to go and be you know to to share his story and tell other young players coming up that just because you can hit just because you have a gift or a talent that doesn't mean that you should walk through life haphazardly 
um, and thinking that you can get off and you can get away with anything. It's so interesting that that there are so many baseball stories that that we we don't really get to know because I mean even Lenny Dykstra went through a, a mess of a storm yeah. as well. And and this yes. is the side of baseball that I mean we need to get in there and really offer them as support as true honest to God fans instead of people who just want that rush. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, yeah, it, you 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 it, you have to imagine for these for a lot of these athletes and not that we look at this and say oh whoa well, it's me for them mm -hmm. but these are people that are are given so much so young and without the right value the the right having a code of morals it's easy to get trapped and ensnared in the ego um in the drug addiction the womanizing all of the things that that become distractions to what their gift is and what their true purpose is. And, and Willie got off track like of many other um, baseball players of that time. And it still happens today. You know, uh, it may be a different drug. It may be, you know, prescription drug, or it may be meth, or it may be something laced with fentanyl, but yeah. we still see these same things. So it's a cautionary tale no doubt baseball is about the science of the game but it's also the business side of the game has got to have some sort of science as well and so when george brett steps in there and starts seeing that the superhero is still in willie i mean my god i mean i mean i i, I grew up in billings montana and the kansas city royals were our team because we were the farm team of them so this is very close to me for the royals yeah george brett was able to bring willie back into the organization willie started with them as a hitting coach, uh, being the slugger that he was, and uh, you know he would he would go to and work with the farm team. Yep. He would work with some of the minor league guys, um, hitting coach, uh, you know, a ball, rookie ball, and and what they found is that not only was Willie able to help in the you know as far as hitting and things, but the stories that he would tell the 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 young players were really impactful. Um, so that's where, you know, I think the the team, the organization realized that they had something special there. And that's the capacity in which Willie works with the team now. He, he works in the player development um, and just helping players become acclimated, these young players and letting them know sort of, you know, what, what, are, what are the in and outs of the city? What's it look like? when you first get your first big league check? <laughs> What's it look like that first year? What does it look like with the nefarious people that may be partying with you and and ciphering off of the energy of, of you being in the big leagues? Or even going from that bus, the minor league bus, to, to the big leagues, because that's one thing that even Michael Jordan talked about when he had that little stint with the Barons. Yeah, yeah. For you, one of the one of the things that listeners may not know about you is that you are actively involved in the community when it comes to creating conversation with law enforcement and real people. A piece of that had to come out in you inside of this movie as well. Yeah, definitely. There's a aspect of of prison reform, but very similar to to how I, you know, with my own philanthropic or my own, um, you know, grassroots efforts. I have a. a a nonprofit called the awareness movement, mm -hmm. which, which I look to take the community and, and, and have peaceful exchanges with law enforcement so that there is a, that there is a dialogue, that there's a communication going on and a mutual respect. Um, it's not, this is, this is not, you know, in reaction to something that may happen in the community, but to me, to foster a, a relationship before something happens, you know, to, to let the community also be aware of their civic duties and, and, and the, the right to vote, but the responsibility mm -hmm. to pick representatives and things. And I think that does correlate to the Royal in some ways, as far as the draconian drug um, sentencing laws that we had that have been overturned um, during some of the previous administrations. Your leadership in the community, I mean, it takes a calm voice and it also takes a vision. So where was that planted at along your, your path of growing forward? 
I think a circle of truth is around my head from my upbringing in in Harlem, New York. Mm -hmm. I feel like I, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a son of, of Harlem. I grew up in the world famous Apollo theater. Um, I have two amazing parents that are educators and they just instilled in me, you know, a a code of moral and, and respect for your community and society at whole. And that, you know, and that, each person as a citizen has their own uh, responsibility to be informed, to be just and fair and, and, and look out for your fellow man. So if any way that I can extend that um, to the community or whether I see, you know, when you see something, you do something, you right. know, um, um, that's the way I kind of look at things. So how does your heart speak to you today knowing that this movie's about ready to open up in movie theaters? I mean, I mean, it's like, oh, my God, on that big screen. I know the biggest thing for me is that Willie is able to see his story on the big screen to know that he has a story that if you watch it, it, it's impactful. Mm -hmm. Um, And there's a lot of different themes. um, Like we mentioned, second chances, um, accountability, um, responsibility um, that it's never too late to, it's never too late to be a parent um, that you, that sometimes it's, it's not comfortable to do the right thing um, to speak up. Isn't always sometimes just speaking on something mm-hmm. is actually an, an, an act of amazing courage. And, um, and for Willie to be able to, for where he came from, from the pariah that he was, to, to Kansas City, to Major League Baseball as a whole. Um, it's really redemptive in a, in a way. It shows that he's worked um, hard for the last 14 years that he's been out of prison. You know, he was in prison. I'm sorry, he was in prison for 14 years. And now I think he's been out for 14 years now. And it just shows what he's been doing for the last 14 years, that he's really um, taken it on his heart in mind to to be impactful to people so i'm really happy about that to see that on the big screen for him to me is is awesome yeah all, all the way back to what we first started talking about we know the headline but we don't know the entire story and and what you just shared with me is everything that rush limbaugh once said he said that only a mustard seed of people make it to the major leagues of baseball and then to see willie get that second chance it's like oh my god yeah yeah and, and 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 we're not owed that, you know. We're not owed the first chance. Yep. You know, um, you have that talent. He has that gift. You're not owed anything with that. And for him to have this career that was, you know, the 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 dreams of of so many, the the stardom, the 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 the, the money, the everything that comes with it, the responsibility, and to squander that, but in this same lifetime, you know, do a long prison sentence and get out Mm -hmm. and still be able to work with the same organization, um, you know, still be a part of Major League Baseball. We were able to go to Cooperstown and he was able to play in the um, in the All-Star game there this summer. Um, He was able to touch his bat that's at Cooperstown, you know, um, that he hit the multiple home runs in the world series with, you know, for him to, it's almost like a a new lease on life for him. So I know he's ecstatic. And that's what I really like about this entire story is that you could see that he's a changed man. And for that, it helps tell the story of other people and hopefully can change lives and inspire people. With your own production company, action, horror, sci-fi, will we start seeing more movies like this uh, in our lives? Definitely. This is the type of films that I that I would like to focus on that that have, you know, a meaningful message, um, a a true American spirit about the film um, and that, you know, that you never give up on your dreams. You never give up on being a good person, um, no matter what you go through, because there will be trials and tribulation. But but we can overcome and you do that by focusing on, you know, God, family, community. 
Well, it was, it was Stephen Furtick of Elevation Church this past week that talked about this very subject. You know, your darkest times actually could be your, the first step of a great victory. And, and so I, that's exactly what went through my mind when I saw the Royals. I'm going, oh, my God, this, this is everything that, that Furtick was talking about. Yeah, it's, it, you know, God sets you up for a comeback story in many, in many if you have that perspective, if you have that faith. Um, you know, and I think that's what Willie was able to, to listen, his life slowed down enough in prison. You know, we often talk about what, you know, the horrors of prison, but so many people come back out of prison and they're like, won't do that again. Won't ever see me in that situation again. I learned my lesson. Now, what can I do to be of service? And, um, I, th- I just think that we need to hear more stories like yeah. that. Any part of you change? Was there a certain uh, moment where you're going, I learned from this. I, th- my next step is going to be much different. Ah, uh, you know, I'm one of those guys that I'm not trying to get in trouble. So, <laughs> so, so I, <laughs> I didn't have that, but there were lessons. Um, the, to me, one of the, the, the bigger lesson is just family mm-hmm. and that, you know, because, you don't have to be estranged from your family um, to be in, you don't have to be in prison to, to be estranged from your family, you know, and to watch Willie fight to restore the respect and the trust that he had broken with his family, especially with his wife and daughters. Um, it was just really impactful to me to never take for granted the family that we have. They're right there. They're every day that we should love them, that we should respect that the family bond and unit because it's so much of who we are. And when we don't have it, when it is squandered, when it's taken from us, it really impacts the mental health, the spiritual health, you know, of, of, of you and, and everyone around you. Wow. You've got to come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. And you be brilliant today, okay, sir? You know it, Earl.